what a challenge. Talk us through it, Philippe. And for those of us who need reminding, why are you taking on this challenge? Well, obviously, everyone knows Stephen and, and how how infectious he was as a character and the type of person he was. Obviously, he left a big imprint in a lot of players, a lot of his teammates while we were all at Bradford. And obviously, I was with him at Bolton as well. And I think that was the 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 amazing thing when I started connecting to lads who we had played with at Bradford and Bolton. You know, every single one of them just couldn't wait to help. You know, they no one said, you know, I can't make it or give it an excuse. They all... You know, some of them have jobs and and work in football as coaches now, and they're finding a way to to do the walk for Stephen. It just shows the respect everyone has for Stephen, how much um, we all you know appreciated him as a player and as a friend. That reaction for you as as a close friend of Stephen's must be amazing. It says so much about him, as you've touched on, and and so much mm. on some of your former colleagues and some of Stephen's former teammates. Yeah, exactly that. You know, like I said, you know, especially the the Bradford team that we had, it was it was so close knit. We had such a good group. It was such a spirited group, and Stephen really epitomised everything what that group was about and what Bradford is about. You know, that underdog mentality. You know, that never give in attitude. That togetherness. It, it it just literally is Stephen, you know that 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 guy who never gives up, who's just relentless, and that's why, like I said, everyone when I when I started messaging players um, from Bradford and Bolton, you know, every single one of the players was like, yeah, absolutely, count me in, you know, when is it? How long can we go? Everyone wanted to do longer. They wanted to walk all the way to Liverpool. A lot of the players, um, but it's it's sort of a relay walk. Um, so the more people you can get involved, the better, obviously, because we want to raise as much awareness and funds for the charity, which is the ultimate goal to to find a cure for this um, horrible horrible disease. I mean, I'm intrigued, Philip, because it's it's such a great challenge. Have you started preparing for it? And if so, Philippe, <laughs> how how do you go about preparing for something like this? <laughs> well, I try and keep relatively fit, but I do like my food. You know that, Louis. Oh, we my, know all my about that, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I try to do a bit every day. Um, I work from home now, obviously, as a, a football consultant. So uh, I try and train every day, get to the gym early in the morning and, and do a bit of running. So I hope I'll be okay with the walk. I was speaking to, to uh, Big Butts, who was the goalkeeper coach at the time at Bradford, um a couple of days ago and he said that i better start training and he sent me a picture of his glass of wine so <laughs> i don't know how his training's going but um i think a lot of the lads will be all right um on the walk um but yeah i think that the the, the huge thing for me uh like i said when i was con- connecting to the boys was they were just so determined it was it was actually really humbling and emotional you know just seeing everyone's reaction how how much Stephen you know means to everyone, and how how much effort everyone was putting in to to make that day, which was really really nice. Yeah, it says so much as we say about Stephen and you and your former teammates and everyone getting involved. Philippe, remind us how much are you trying to raise, and and if anyone's listening and, and I don't know, fancies joining on a leg or or you know contributing to a few miles, how, how could people get involved if they wanted to? Yeah, so it's Redwood Redwood Events on Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram. They're on every social media handle. Or you will see me post now and again uh, or repost their things. So get in touch with Redwood event, uh, Events, uh, Mike Wilson, and the general public can join in. So feel free to join in if you want to show your support. And obviously there's a fundraising link that Brother City have put out as well which is on on their website and on some of their recent um, posts. Um, Bradford, our our team and our leg is from Valley Parade to Huddersfield on the very first day. Um, And we're trying to raise £10,000 from our team. But the overall um, figure that we're trying to raise is 50000 from every leg uh, overall. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a big number, but we really wanted to try and do something bigger this time and 
try and take it to another level and try and make people listen yeah. um, at a higher level if we can to raise more money. I think it, I, it, my personal opinion I, is I, I can't actually believe how much lack of support there is from the higher powers that be really you know when we're talking governments etc i know they've given in the past but you'd like to see a little bit more and and just you know you'd like to see more people try and participate it's such a it's such a cruel world at the moment there's so much negative things going around it's really nice at the moment to see clubs community assets really is what football clubs are doing something really positive and that's what i love about this and all for Steve and for other MND sufferers and Marcus Stewart, of course. Um, I think it's a really positive um, bit of news that's just gone out. And it's nice to see so many. I've had so many messages from people, private messages on social media, just saying, you know, we're right behind you. We want to support. We want to join in. We want to donate. And it's just, it's so lovely to see um, that people are willing to to help and, and try and do their bit because it's, it's difficult times as well. Um, for a lot of people at the moment. So I really appreciate everyone's help. Philippe, I've got Andy Kiwomia alongside myself down here at Forest Green. He, he just wants to ask you something. Yeah, no, Philippe, I want to say I'm really proud of the work that Stephen and everyone is doing to build the awareness and um, mm-hmm. really proud that you've got involved. And if there's anything that m- myself or anybody else can do, the former players of the club, just let us know what needs to be done because we're right behind Stephen and you, yourselves and everyone else that's trying to battle against this horrible condition, you know, so please don't be a stranger. Let us know what we need to do so we can support you in whatever you want to do and how you want to do it. Oh, that's amazing, Andy. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks for those kind words. And yeah, I'll definitely get in touch. I'm sure we'd love to have the, the more people, the better you know, and, and your team and what you did at Bradford and the pe- the players that played in your era, um, if they can join in and, 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 the, and pass the message on and and make that, that message even louder, then, of course, you know, the more the merrier. I'd, we'd love to have as many ex-players as possible support and, you know, together the football world can be so powerful, but I think more can be done together. We can create a real noise and a real wave to try and take this to a whole new level, just like Kevin Sinfield did with rugby. You know, what he's done is just incredible and he's a real inspiration. I think to a lot of people, me personally as well, seeing what he's done has just been incredible and and how he's galvanised the rugby world to really get behind MND and raise so much money and, and capture the attention of the general public up and down the country and beyond. Um, is something that, you know, I hope the football world can do now. And we we might start small just now and through Bradford and try and spread through a few other clubs. And then hopefully we try and make it bigger and bigger, hopefully year on year uh, and see where it takes us. Yeah, Philippa, you know the Bradford City family are right behind you. So stand proud and stand tall and let lead us to where you want to go. And um, we'll be right behind you with Stephen. Definitely MND all the way. Philippe here, Cheers, here. Um, and I'll tell you what, Philippe, I'm already looking forward to when you've completed it, to how your <laughs> Saturday night Chinese from your favourite spot in Harrogate is tasting for you, because we know that's what you love.